guys, good morning. Good morning. Actually, it's 12.40, so good afternoon. <laughs> I got this package from Amazon. I finally decided to order me a skincare fridge because I really want to, you know, try out cold skincare, you know, so... Yeah, I bought me a skincare fridge and I wanted to get one that was a little bit different than the usual, you know, upright fridges. So it came yesterday. So I figured I'd go ahead and open it with you guys, do a little bit of vlogging today. So this is what the one that I got looks like. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what it do. Um, yeah, I thought it would be really cool to have one that kind of opens up from the top instead of like with a door or whatever. And I'm curious to see what the footprint is on this baby though. Footprint might be crazy. So let's just open her up, take a look. Oh, how cute, she doesn't look too big. I'm going to save that box because I plan on doing a little bit of a palette declutter today as well. Um, it's time for me to trim the fat. So. Yeah, we're going to do a palette declutter as well. And I'm going to need a box. Probably not a big box because y'all know I love my palettes. So anyway. This is what it looks like. Cute little plastic. It has little feet. So take her out. Oh, she's cute. She probably has a bit of more of a footprint, you know, um, lengthwise, but heightwise, she's not too high. So. I have a good spot for her over here, but it has like this kind of like rose gold trimming. And this is what the inside of the fridge looks like. So yeah, and on the back, it has a little slot here. It has a little slot here for masks, you know, face masks and stuff. And then on the back, is where I plug it up and I guess this is where I change like the little vent filter or whatever so that's cool so yeah let me go ahead get the plug out get her set up and then we'll go get my skincare that's already in um, my little fridge in my bedroom so So let's go get my skincare. So I have masks. This I bought when I was in Hawaii for my birthday. This is supposed to be for my under eyes to get rid of the dark circles and stuff. <laughs> we'll see. So he told me to keep that in the fridge. I got a face mask in here. And then this is some more of my skincare stuff that I need to grab to take in there. So let's see here. Another 
face cream. So I'm gonna grab that too, throw that on top of there. And this should be everything for now. See if it all fits. Okay, so should I wait for this to get cold, you guys, or should I just put this stuff in here? I feel the air coming through. Yeah, it's definitely cold air coming through, so I'm about to fill this puppy up. Okay, you guys, so this is what she looks like on the inside. So, you know, as you can see, there's plenty of space in here. Y'all saw I put a lot of stuff in here. These are the masks right up top. And then I have, you know, the serums and moisturizers and all that good stuff, little tools. So, yeah, I actually really, really like it. I think it's cute. The only dilemma I have is do I want to keep this in here, you know, in my beauty space? Or do I want to put this, try and find a spot for it in my bathroom where I actually do my skincare? I don't know. But this is the perfect little spot for it. So, anyway, that's what she looks like on the inside. Let me know if you guys you know would consider purchasing it i'll keep you updated though as far as whether or not i like it and if it gets cool enough okay so carrying on okay y'all so bath and body works had a sale on hand soaps last week i think they were like 350 each and <laughs> your girl loves to stock up on hand soaps so that's what i did and Typically, when they have their sales, I might buy like, I don't know, 20, 30 of them and just put them in the cabinet. It takes forever for me to go through them. So this is probably like a year supply of hand soap for me. <laughs> but I love trying out the different scents because you never know, you know, which ones you will or will not like. So I just figured I'd go through with you guys and unbox some of the hand soaps that I got because I got quite a few. So this one is Pink Peach Blossom. And I'm surprised they don't have like a little plastic on them, but I guess because they have a lock in top, I can't really smell them for you guys. I got flannel, very cute. White coconut caramel. I'm assuming this one's gonna smell really good. Uh, Sunrise Woods. And the packaging, you know, you can pick whichever bottles on the website that fit your decor in your home because I have seen like different scents with different types of packaging or different color packaging. Pink Peach Blossom. That probably smells good. Uh, see, this one does have plastic on it. This is Peach Bellini. This is a cleansing gel hand soap, so that's not the foaming kind, I don't think. This one is Cozy Cashmere. I'm assuming this one will um, smell really nice as well. But I think what they do is like for this sale, these scents are more so like what I would consider fall scents. So it's like you can buy these and have them ready, already stocked in your cabinet for fall you know what i'm saying so this one is kitchen lemon this one smells really good i already opened one of these and put it in my kitchen smells like kitchen lemon honey <laughs> this one is raspberry cream tea Ooh, that smells like or that sounds like it's gonna smell really good i can't imagine any of these stinking fresh rainfall so this is another gel hand soap so it's not like the foaming kind you could tell it looks different. It's like thicker in there than the foaming kind. So it's just like a regular hand soap. I've got mahogany teak wood. I got these for my husband's side of the bathroom. Something that smells a little bit more masculine for him. So he doesn't have to walk around with his hands smelling like fruits and berries, you know. This one is crisp morning air. Very pretty. Got Ocean Driftwood. That probably smells really good, actually. This one is Sweater Weather. Sweater Weather. So I guess they probably have most of these matching or coinciding with the um, their candles. 
because some of these names are kind of familiar to me. So this one is Poppy. I just bought the whole little Poppy travel kit um, when I went to Hawaii for my birthday. I ordered it ahead of time because I was able to get like some kind of sale on it. And I bought the whole little travel set. It comes with the body wash, the body mist, the perfume, a hand lotion, and then a body lotion. Smells amazing. Okay, if you're wondering how the poppy smell, child, it smells so good. This one is, oh, another white coconut caramel. <laughs> I got two of those, I'm probably because it sounds like it smells so good. This is a pomegranate black berry. So that probably smells good as well. Autumn Rainfall, very pretty packaging. So like if you have a green and brown bathroom or something like that, you can match your hand soap to it. This one is white tea and sage. I think I already got one of these, maybe. And then this last one is Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla. And I already have the, what is it, the, um, aromatherapy body um what is it called like the bubble bath stuff so yeah i already know what this smells like very good very relaxing so yeah those are the ones that i picked up from the sale okay did you guys catch the sale i don't really buy a lot of candles anymore i noticed that i don't really burn candles as much in my house just kind of you know i do Occasionally, like I have one burning in the hallway, you know, for the whole house, but just like in my enclosed spaces and stuff, I notice that when I burn candles, I get headaches sometimes, or it'll start making me cough because it's like the scent is just too strong. So I don't burn as many candles, so I really don't buy the candles like I used to. I still have a lot of Jackie Ina candles to burn, you know, Bath and Body Works candles, so child, and hand soaps though. I feel like you can never have too many hand soaps. <laughs> so that is what I got from there. I guess this vlog is going to be a whole bunch of unboxing. But I want to do a little palette declutter, y'all. So let me see if I can get up the courage and the nerve to do a little palette declutter right quick. <laughs> Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Okay, you guys, it's gonna be a working lunch. <laughs> As you can see, I made me a quick little sandwich. Got me some pineapple mango juice. But I'm back in my beauty space because I really want to force myself to pull some palettes, do just a small palette declutter a lot of my palettes i know for a fact i am not touching i'm not getting rid of but there are some that even though i'm struggling with i need the space because now that i'm going to be back in action i'm going to be buying makeup again so i need the shelf space so anyway over here i have my nomads i have <laughs> My little melt stack, the only melt stack that I have. These are my Natasha Denona's, of course, they're not going anywhere. These are, what is it, the Beauty Bay palettes that I have. So those aren't going anywhere. What are these? Oh, these are my larger Morphe palettes. Ooh, am I gonna keep these? Anyway, I don't know y'all. I don't know, honey. The jury is still out. I'm trying to do this while I'm holding my camera. So bear with me. I have Nabla's. 
these are what is it called uh with the violet voss is that what these are yeah different violet voss palettes probably not gonna go through those sigmas these are some palettes that are just in here that i either used need to use whatever y'all this magic palette from clarity cosmetics it is so gorgeous Yo, child, look how pretty that is gorgeous but anyway <laughs> so there's a lot of palettes that i have i have my lunar beauties my um y'all know what these are i tell you abh after covid my brain does not work like it's, it used to it really doesn't so bear with me i have some other miscellaneous palettes this <sighs> Jaclyn Hill Morphe actually I don't even know why that's in here right here it doesn't belong in there but this is it's a really pretty neutral palette I haven't used it yet that ain't going nowhere these are palettes that I really keep just for decoration because lord knows that Fenty Beauty palette <laughs> trash <laughs> so anyways really pretty palettes that I'm keeping for decoration these are my glam lights these are all my like smaller palettes that I may or may not go through Juvia's Place brushes that I really need to put in front of me so I could use them. But anyway, for the most part, this shelf here is not getting touched. Um, <laughs> This shelf definitely not getting touched. These are all ColourPop. I don't know what it is about ColourPop, but child, I love me some ColourPop, okay? These are like the latest ones that I bought. These really pretty small nine panners. Really, really pretty color stories like... <laughs> I don't even use small palettes like that, but for some reason, ColourPop gets all my bread, okay? Larger palettes, medium-sized palettes, and then these are the really, really cute five-pan palettes. Lord knows, I don't, and some of the four-pans. The Lord knows, I do not reach for these, but I'll tell you what, I'm about to. So anyways, I kind of have them color-coded in this little drawer, Love that. But anyways, ColourPop's not getting touched. This is another shelf that most of it's not getting touched. Let me get a little bit of light. Most of it's not getting touched. Like my Pat McGrath's. Of course not. <laughs> Did not spend all that money. I don't care if I use them or not. They're not going anywhere. Juvia's Place, not going anywhere. These are my really pretty ZC palettes um that i really <laughs> bought because the packaging is so gorgeous this is like the alice in wonderland um and it has like the little you see the little glitter moving in there get out of town honey it's too pretty so um i don't know i probably will use those actually but the packaging is bomb these are the lipsticks that i still have i decluttered <laughs> over a hundred lipsticks the other day i was irritated and i just started going through my lipsticks completely decluttered them these are the new lip glosses from nomad that i haven't tried out yet but i'm definitely going to try them out look at that packaging so cute so yeah i'm going to be using those shortly but yeah i really really cut down my lipstick collection because it was just ridiculous so now down here i start to get into some of my indie brands and a few other palettes that i just really really like but there's some in here that honestly can probably go like i have some uh cara beauties down here one of them was a gift from my girl dj so i'm definitely not getting rid of that i don't get rid of gifts um but i have some other cara beauties that i haven't used have not touched not sure if i'm going to or not um but yeah some of these palettes uh, you know my melt cosmetics honey i ain't touching those but like oh these are gonna be hard to choose from y'all i'm getting old i'm over here bending down shoot lord help me hopefully i can get back up but like these i've had forever from pinky rose this is um center stage which one is this spotlight collection okay so center stage but it's like really pretty palettes but i've had them forever i don't know if i'll actually reach for them again y'all this is gonna be hard every single time i try to do a palette declutter i end up canceling it because 
is too hard. So anyway, the shelf that has the most action, quite honestly, is over here in this corner. <sighs> Let me see if I can get a little more light over here. Hold on, you guys. That's a little more light. Okay. Over here in this corner, these, no, these are like some of my newer palettes that I've picked up. I'm not doing anything with those. This is like miscellaneous stuff. I like this palette just because the name of it. So <laughs> I keep that in front. Um, but I have some of my Sephora Pro palettes back here. Some, what is this? This Becca palette. That honestly can go. The packaging is really pretty, but yeah, it honestly can go. So some of these are here just for packaging. Now down here, this is probably where I will start decluttering because... Even though I love like my Root Cosmetics palettes and stuff, like this one here is called Wild Nights. Mm. It's a beautiful color story, but I have other palettes that have these shades that are better quality. So even though some of these I've only used them once, you know, it's like they're taking up valuable space on my counter and it's really starting to bother me see this is gorgeous only used it once um and it was it, you know it's a decent palette it's nothing wrong with it that's what makes it so hard then i have these other car beauties that i picked up girl scout and child i went out of my way to get these palettes because they're so beautiful y'all i don't know this might not go well it really might not go well Okay, so anyway, down here is a lot of Revolution. I have Revolution palettes, the color books, you know, I have the velvet ones. I'm definitely not getting rid of my Tammy palette or my Patricia Bright for sure. But some of these other palettes that I have, they have beautiful color stories, but it's like I never used them. So it's just kind of like, child, I have these palettes that I'm not using and they just taking up space. And they're not the best quality that I have in my collection. So, um, y'all, it's going to be hard. So, anyway, Revolution has action. I have some NYX palettes down here that I really don't want to get rid of. All of my BH Cosmetics travel palettes, these ain't going nowhere. These palettes are bomb, and I love them. They're not going nowhere. Um... I have some other BH Cosmetics palettes, like this one here. Oh, no, this is Morphe. I'm sorry. This is Morphe main event. And it's really cool because it has the, you know, the, um, what is it called? Water activated liners at the bottom. But even with this color story, am I going to pull this again? It has these glitters in it. Probably not. So, anyway, I'm going to go through some of these palettes you guys and see my glam lights of course not going anywhere uh no but there's some other palettes in here that can probably go so yeah let me go ahead eat my lunch and see what i can get started in here y'all i might have to abort mission because i'm sitting here pulling palettes that i feel like okay yeah for sure i definitely want to get rid of that or i can get rid of that and then i open it up like this palette here this la dreams from makeup obsession you know revolution or whatever and it's just like look at this color story i know it ain't much light down here but it's like it's so pretty and it's like, I did do a makeup declutter right before I moved. And that's why I have certain stuff that I did keep. This e.l.f. Chipotle um, collab palette. Really pretty colors in here. And it's just like, do I really want to get rid of that? Just because, just because. This is Tres Luce. I, the I Am palette. Got this in a box leash arm. And I was like, yeah, I'd get rid of that. And then I opened it up. And like I said, it's not like I don't have these colors already. I'm just like, child, these palettes, they be so pretty. These are from Amore Us, the Snow Queen. Look at that. Child, I'm 
might have to abort mission, honey, because I might end up getting rid of like three pallets. And then it's like, what's the point? You know, what is the point? Okay, y'all, so as difficult as it was, I was able to bite the bullet and really pull some palettes that I can declutter because it's time. This first one is this Face Candy Atlantis. <laughs> this used to be my favorite blue palette for so long. It's still really, really gorgeous, but I've probably had this palette for like four or five years at least. And even just looking at it, it's still hard for me to let it go, but... I have plenty of blue palettes, so that can go. This Mini Pro palette from Beauty Creations, this was volume four. Um, I kept it because it was a pretty purples and pinks, but I have palettes that are way better quality than that. Same color story. This Frida Kahlo, I was going back and forth because I actually bought this for nostalgia reasons because I had to extensively study her when I was in college and I didn't necessarily buy it because of the color story or because I wanted to use it anyway. Mm, but it's like when I think about my collection now and the reason for me keeping certain palettes, that's not really a reason that I wanna keep a palette. So I gotta let it go. <laughs> now at this point, if I don't absolutely love the palette or if it wasn't a gift, or if it's not a collection that, or a brand that I just collect all of their palettes, I'm probably not gonna keep it. <laughs> so this is the Pure Festival 2.0. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm because it's not something that I would buy. So I'm gonna let that go. This is another Pure. This is, oh, that was a 2.0. So this was the first one. Really pretty purple and pink in there. Got some glitters, but I will never use this, so that can go. This is from Eben New York, Secret of Pharaoh. I was just doing like I do sometimes, scrolling in the middle of the night, ordering stuff, cause it looks cute at the time. I will never pull this. Even though it's really pretty, I have plenty of palettes with these colors that I would pull before even remembering that I even have this palette, so that has to go. And a reason why, <clears throat> It's hard for me to do declutters, you guys, is because I buy all of my palettes. There's one brand, Nomad, that sends me their palettes, and I love that brand. So I would buy their palettes anyway. But other than that, I've probably been sent palettes um, from my... Uh, But other than that, I've probably been sent palettes from maybe three other brands like once. LA Girl sent me some stuff once. Um, uh, indie brands, another indie brand sent me stuff once. And then my girl DJ, she sent me, you know, some palettes over the years that she has launched that, of course, I have those. But other than that, I buy all of my makeup. <laughs> All of my palettes, 99% of my palettes and makeup, I purchased myself with my own money. So that's why it's hard for me to declutter because it's really like I'm just giving away or throwing away money. But I got to do it, child, because I got to move on. So this is the Peachy Queen Tarot, The Sun. I bought this and it is, you know, it's an okay color story. Interesting. The glitters, you know, mm, but... I'm never going to pull this. <sighs> color story, Tropical Glow. Cute color story. Um, This, I believe they sell at Target, if I'm not mistaken. It is. It's really cute. Um, And I didn't use this one. I have another one from them that I actually used. And it's, you know, it's drugstore quality, but I'm never going to pull this. I bought this Blue Sky palette. This is from C Color Cosmetics because it was a dupe for Jeffree Star's Blue Blood or whatever. Um, so I bought this Color Story Pretty, but I'm never gonna use this. I kept this Profusion Metallics palette for a long time because the shimmers in here are really, really pretty. But if I'm being real with myself, I have way better shimmers than this so why am i keeping this mm, 
it, it can go. Okay, so, and some of them I did kind of hem and haw over you guys, but I had to be, I had to be a little cutthroat with myself. Cab Cosmetics, this came in my BoxyCharm. You know, it's just like burgundy and orange color story. I'm never going to pull this ever. Brew. You know, the crazy thing about this brew palette, um, who is this from? September Rose, I think. Yeah. I wanted this palette so bad. I was like, I got to have that palette. Everybody has that palette. I need that palette. But yeah, Why? I mean, if you love neutrals and warm tones and you do regular, you know, everyday looks for work or you just like to do everyday neutral tones, this is perfect. I get it. It's beautiful. But for me, nah, dude. I don't need this. <laughs> Spectra. This is from Gourmand Girls and the Chris, what is it? Krista Rice makeup collab. Beautiful color story. I actually did a really, really pretty eye look with this. So I kind of hem and hawed over this because it's really pretty. And, you know, it's kind of tough for me when I have to get rid of indie brands. But I have so many palettes that I would pull before this. So she's got to go. Slush from September Rose. I guess I'm getting rid of probably both of my September Rose palettes. I think these are the only two palettes that I have from them. This one, mm, I might end up putting this back. But quite honestly, when I used it, I wasn't, really wasn't that impressed with it. And especially not compared to the colorful palettes I have now. Uh-uh. This, <laughs> this is not, this ain't nothing special to me. So, yeah, yeah, she can go. She can go. I ain't keeping her. Now, these two kimchi palettes I purchased, um, you know, it's like, ooh, those are cute. Like this one here, really pretty. Look at the colors, gorgeous. But I have way better color stories than this, even though it's pretty. And then this one, I'm feeling sweet. Definitely, I don't need. Even though it's a neutral palette, it's very light shades in here. So this is not even something that I would ever, ever reach for. So why I bought this? Lord only knows, because I'm addicted to makeup, that's why. Okay, Luna Magic Uno. Really pretty, very, very pretty, but just the pops of purple and pink in here. I have other palettes I will pull before that. And then this um, Beauty by Stoney Remedy eyeshadow palette. This is one of the ones that I think I was actually sent by this brand. Um, very pretty, I did a video using this long time ago um as you can see pops of color neutrals yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let that go and you know i looked up with me being out here in vegas i was looking to see if they have like women women shelters or things like that that would like you know slightly used or basically new makeup you know that they can have and it says that there are a few so hopefully i can find one out here so I can just take it and drop it off and I don't have to spend money on postage. But if I have to ship it somewhere, I will because this would probably just be like one big box. But yeah, definitely, hopefully I can find a shelter to give these to. You know, women that are trying to, you know, just get ready for work or, you know, find jobs and things like that. Or just, you know, to help them have fun and, and get themselves dolled up and stuff like that. So... Hopefully they'll, it'll go to good hands. So this is the Zueva Glam palette. Got this in my boxy charm. Really nice, just basic neutral palette. Yeah. This here is from Cuesta Cosmetics. I am bold. I am brave, courageous, and strong. So neutrals, pop of blues and purples in there. This one, Becca Muse. Now. I have some other Becca Muse palettes that I am not getting rid of. A beautiful pink one, pink and purple, and I think like blue and green. This one is more like autumn shades, and honestly, I could keep this. I could with the pretty oranges and stuff, but yeah. I know I'll never pull this, so this can go. This Questa Cosmetics Bootyful. <laughs> it's like a fall-themed palette. 
This one is cute too, but yeah, just being realistic, I'm never gonna pull that. Oops. This one into the night from Beauty Dame. So, has some really muted shades in here. I think the background kind of made me feel a little bit more like I would actually use this palette. But just looking at the actual shades, it's like, mm, I'm not gonna pull that. This one here from Revolution, Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought it was really cute. The color story is really cute too. It has like two sides, you know, the neutral side and the colorful side. <clears throat> I'm not gonna pull this. <laughs> so it's like, girl, just let it go, let it go. Pure Crystal Clear, I actually bought this. This is like a little, you know, it's cute, you know, like for traveling and stuff, cause it's a whole little book. Got the highlighters, the blushes, you got your, um, you know, warm tone neutrals. Oops. Yeah, like warm tone neutrals over here on this side. You got a few pops of color on this side. And I think I might've used this once. The highlighters are actually bomb and the blushes are actually nice too. Mm, I think we might have one for the maybe pile, y'all. We might have one for the maybe pile because it's just it's so compact and I could just throw this in my backpack when I try child. This is a maybe. That's a maybe. <laughs> we finally hit a maybe. Okay, this is iconic London. I know I got this in my boxy charm. And you know, really pretty basic neutrals. I feel like this is definitely for someone a lot more fair skin tone than I am, child. Okay. Now, this one, another BoxyCharm palette. Those are colors, Hidden Treasures palette. And I don't know, I kept it because, mm, child, I don't know why I kept it. I'm not going to use this. Just the, you know, arrangement of the shades alone is annoying. So, I'm not going to use that. Moira, Sweet Paradise. I remember when I bought this. I was like, ooh, that's cute. Mm, mm, mm. It is nice and colorful. Got some highlighters and stuff on the side, but this is a very strange color story to me now. When I open it and look at it, I'm like, eh. I just, it's, it's too mediocre for me to even fool with. <laughs> so, gotta go. Crayon Case, the matte book. Okay, I know for a lot of people, this is like their holy grail, especially if you like to do colorful looks. It's just your basic rainbow palette. It has some nice like bronzer contour shades down here, blending shades. Is this another maybe? Oh, dang. Another maybe. <laughs> this is GLF and JDES TV collab palette. Pretty, colorful, um, kind of kitty. You know, kind of kitty, but it's cute. But yeah, now it's gotta go. And then the last stack, you guys, I have here from the brow bar. Got this in my boxy charm, of course. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing open without popping off a nail. It has a little brush in here, but this, <laughs> I know. It's like, why did I keep this in the first place? I don't know. Maybe because it had one little green in the corner. But yeah, this definitely can go perfect. Like, you know, work eyeshadow palette for somebody. This is from C Color Cosmetics. This is the diamond palette. And I went back and forth with this because these shimmers in here are actually quite pretty. They really are. They don't look like much, but they're quite pretty. But I have better shimmers than this. Another C Color palette. This is the Jungle Fever. Really pretty, colorful eyeshadow palette, but yeah, I would never reach for this. And I think the reason why I kept a lot of palettes in my collection is because being a YouTuber and a content creator, sometimes I do like to compare color stories, compare the quality of shadows, compare, you know, like just whatever. So that's why I keep more palettes than I really need to, but I still have a lot of palettes, so I'm good. 
This Delancey Flamboyance palette, I've had this for quite a while. I remember when I did the video for this. Really, really pretty, like red tone palette, but I definitely have other palettes that I would use before this. This Watch Me Blush <laughs> from the Crayon Case. I don't know what to do with this. I've never understood this palette with it being called Watch Me Blush. Of course, you know, thinking, oh, a blush palette. But it's like colored shimmers in here. It looks like highlighter shades, bronzing shades. It, this palette is weird. It is. I don't know where to put it. Do I put it with my blushes, my highlighters, my eye, eyeshadow? What? Child, this might need to go. Morphe and Manny MUA Glam Palette. I think I got this in my boxy charm. Very, very boring. The highlighters might be cute, but child. Mm -mm. And then I have this Revolution Alexis Stone Instinct Palette. This one I kind of hem and hawed over. Because I love the variation in shades in here. I kept my uh, Revolution Color Book palettes because for that very reason. But this, mm, this one is kind of tough. The only reason why it's on the chopping block is because Revolution doesn't have the best quality in my collection. But I might play with this one more time before I make a final decision. Because I like those gradients in there, y'all. Yeah, that's a maybe. And then lastly, my two BH Cosmetics Zodiac palettes. The only reason why I have kept these two palettes is because every, you know, so many people say they love them. They're so bomb. They're so amazing. But child, I would never know because I never pull them. Ever. So it's kind of like they're just taking up space. I think I don't pull them because I don't like the layout. Round pans, rectangle pans. Child. Uh -uh. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. And this one, really pretty. But yeah, it's time for them to go. Because I've had these forever. Still haven't used them. And it must be a reason. So I would rather give these to somebody else. So y'all, I think I did good. I only got three maybes. Let me count the declutter palettes so that you guys can know how many palettes I'm decluttering. These three are maybes. Most likely they going back. <laughs> so let me count my palettes. Okay, you guys, 36. 36 palettes I'm decluttering. That's not bad. That's not bad, okay? Don't ask me how many palettes I still have because there's none of your business. 36 palettes I'm decluttering. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I did good. Hi, you guys. I'm back. It's still Saturday. Same doggone day. Just a little bit later in the day. Um almost evening not quite almost so hubby decided he wanted to go to the casino for a little while and i know we're gonna have to grab a bite to eat for dinner so i'm gonna make myself look somewhat decent i ain't trying to do a whole lot because i don't feel like it it's 100 degrees outside still so we about to do some quick little powder foundation maybe some eyeliner and lashes Lip gloss, little something, something, okay? So, yeah, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I realized that Hubby and I, we don't go out on dates. We don't go out on dates. And it used to piss me off because I like being wined and dined, okay? It used to really piss me off, but we've been together for quite a while now. But, yeah, it used to piss me off, but... What I realized is, even though we don't go out on dates, I think what we do, I'm just about to brush my eyebrows a little bit. What we do is we occasionally leave the house at the same time in the same car and arrive at the same destination where there could possibly be food served or, you know, something else entertaining to do. Um, <laughs> so we don't go out on dates. We just leave the house together in the same vehicle and end up at the same destination occasionally. 
<laughs> but it's not a date. Okay, it's not a date. So, yeah, that used to piss me off. But, you know, as you get older, you kind of, you know, have to just, you know, look at your blessings and not focus on what you wish you had because I'm truly blessed and thankful. So, yeah, we don't, we don't really go out on dates. But, you know, if I can go out and get a good meal and you know, spend some time with hubby, then I'm happy. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. We just get in the same car and go to the same place occasionally. So, I'm just going in with some of my KVD. I always call it Kat Von D because, honey, that's what I know it as. But I'm just going in with some of this powder foundation. I'm not even really... Let me tell you how hot it is. I'm not even really, like doing a whole lot of prep on my face or nothing like that. I'm just trying to even out my skin tone enough to be seen in public, okay? That's what we're going to do today. <laughs> when I sit down and really want to do a whole beat face of makeup, you know, it takes a little time and it takes a little, you know, mental preparation. And that's what I, not what I'm doing right now. Just trying to make myself look decent enough to leave the house without scaring nobody. So we're going to do some powder, little eyeliner, little lashes, and call it a day, okay? these black eyeliner pencils from NYX I think yeah this is NYX I can't see right now so hopefully y'all can see that but I really really like these because they twist up and down you don't have to sharpen them I realized <laughs> right now in my stage of makeup loving and at my age I do not like to have to sharpen pencils I don't like pencils that I have to sharpen because oftentimes they break and it's annoying to have to find a sharpener all the time. So, yeah. So, I'm going to use this dark brown NYX pencil for my lip liner. And it's just a really nice dark brown. And I got these lipsticks from Black Moon Cosmetics. I ordered like the whole set of these a few months ago, a few months back. And I always forget because I have them in my drawer in here in my closet. <laughs> so I forget about them. But I'm going to go ahead and use this pretty nude shade here. That's the shade. It's super small. So honey, I don't know if my camera will pick that up. But if you can see what name that is, you know. If not, if my camera doesn't pick it up, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm going to try this out today. Mm. Has like a peachy tone to it. It's kind of bright, but... My lip liner is pretty dark, so. But I like the color, it's really pretty. So what I'm gonna do on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my, um, one of my Maybelline Lifter glosses. 
I love these glosses. They're comfortable, pretty. See that, see how shiny it is? Love them. It just kind of helps to amp up <laughs> a nice basic face like the one that I have right now. Do I want to put on some blush? A little bit of blush, maybe a little blush. <sighs> Let me see what I have in here. Well, the only thing I have in here for blush is my uh, Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette, and mm, that might be a bit much. I'm gonna have to go super duper light handed with this blush, child, because it's very pigmented, if I recall correctly. Oh, it's pretty though. So I just try to go a little light. Ooh, look at that, child. It's gorgeous. So I'll put a little powder over that to tone it down a little bit. Since I don't have a full beat, you know? Look at that blush, child. It's gorgeous. Just bringing y'all everywhere with me today, huh? <laughs> y'all, my hair, I'm just gonna try to do something with these edges, but my hair really needs to be done. But I'm trying to hold out because I'm going on a cruise with hubby in like a week, a week from today, actually. And so I'm trying to hold out and redo my hair like next week. So it'd be nice and fresh. So fresh and so clean. So yeah, I'm just going to <laughs> keep slicking these edges back until next week. And I will redo my whole, whole head. I will take these down and then redo it the only thing i hate is you know all of the gel gets like stuck in the front and it looks nasty so y'all don't mind that just don't mind that okay it's just a just a few more days and then your girl will be you know looking legit again okay so yeah we're gonna slick these edges back <laughs> and try to make these locks look <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't judge me, okay? I'm not the I know I'm not the only one that be trying to stretch their hairstyles sometime, okay? Especially when you do your hair yourself. When you do your hair yourself, it's like you kind of feel like you can do it whenever you feel like it. So, at least for me, I don't really be pressed about it and I'd be in the house most of the time, so I really don't be pressed to have my hair looking a hundred percent all the time, okay? So don't judge your sister. Don't judge me, okay? Slick the edges back. And just kind of try to make them look like look like a little sun. Look like you actually did something with yourself today. Okay, so yeah, that's it, child. That's it. Okay, let's go pick out an outfit. Okay, so listen, your girl already has jeans on. <laughs> Had these jeans on all day, 
and I want to keep these jeans on, okay? Ain't nobody trying to be doing all that. I'm going to find me a shirt, find me a blouse, and call it a day. So let's find us a shirt that we could put on with these jeans and be done with it. <laughs> okay, so I decided to go ahead and go with kind of comfy, casual, but still a little cute. Instead of just a plain t-shirt, I went ahead and put on this kind of like loose, comfortable um, turquoise top. I have on a little white bandeau underneath so I don't have any straps going on. And then I just, I did switch my jeans, but these are still, as you can see, distressed, <laughs> very casual uh, blue jeans little bit darker these sandals I got these sandals from um, Amazon and I fell in love with them they have a little you know section on where your toe goes and it goes across the foot around the ankle and it just zips up in the back and these things are like mad comfortable so I wish they had some other designs or colors because I definitely picked them up but I really like these. I think they go well with this little outfit. So that's what I went with. Just casually cute, but still comfortable. Um, and then I'm going to pair it with this bag. I need to put the strap on it. This is just a larger bag that I got from Amazon. It's actually really cute, but I think because my sandals, you know, have a little bit of the kind of tan color in them that this bag might go well and it's a larger bag I've been carrying smaller bags and I'm tired of like really digging and having to look for my stuff like crazy so yeah I'm gonna go with this today and that'll do it I almost forgot you guys for my scent today I'm gonna go ahead and go with this guest this is just the um, guest 1981 I believe it smells so good so clean so fresh I love this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and wear this today. Oh, this stuff smells good. Oh, and I just have on some random bracelets. I'm going with gold, and I have, you know, this turquoise and amber bracelet just to kind of match my outfit. And I do have on these um, just plain gold hoops for today oh this stuff smells so good <laughs> it smells so good okay where's the top keys even though your girl is not driving lip liner and my selfie stick so i could take you guys with me this one i'm still kind of getting familiar with it's kind of cool it's like telescoping so i know y'all can't see me hold on okay so yeah it's like telescoping so it like pulls out you know since i do film with my phone and stuff still um it's really cool and handy you know if i want to get a little distance so you know very cool and it's not anything that's like too big you can just stick this in your purse and you're good to go so in she goes
look. <laughs> so we headed out. It wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. <laughs>